there is a fun command that I want to show off here and uh, it shows you, if I type in git log, the command shows you the unique IDs that are created amongst the different commits that you've created. And so as we continue to learn Git, we're going to learn to um, change the version of the files or uh, to these different commit IDs. Um, but for the time being, you know, Git log will show you the IDs and that's what you need to know. Uh, as well as who's the author of the git commit and the date and timestamp, uh, as well as the messages. So there's lots of information inside of git log. Um, kind of a unique thing though, is if I kind of condense my terminal down, uh, and the, what, what is kind of fun about this, if I do a git log now, um, it puts it in a mode um, where it's showing line by line, I'm hitting enter, and it's showing me the different pieces because the, the view space is not large enough to just show everything all at once. And notice here when I get to the end, I've got this end file and uh, the fun little, like what is the key to get out of this, to get back to the terminal? You know, you think maybe it's Z. No, it's not Z. Is it control Z, not control Z? Is it escape? No, is it control all delete? No, of all the keys it could be, it is the letter uh, Q. And so Q of all keystrokes gets you back to the terminal. So I thought that was just kind of a interesting uh, keystroke to get you out of of a uh, of a mode inside of the terminal. But that is the git log and that is the weird little nuance of the git log command, the key, the hotkey Q.